Hi, I'm Randy. This is Jeff. We're going to give you a little primer on kettlebells, what to look for if you're buying them, and a little uh, instruction about exactly what they should look and feel like. So these three kettlebells here, these are actually all the same weight. You can see they're different sizes and they're slightly different material. Uh, an important thing about these is they're all metal handles. Um, if you go to some of the lesser sporting goods stores, you might find some plastic handle kettlebells. We don't recommend those. Those will really tear up your hands. The other thing to keep in mind is most kettlebells are going to be have um, weight that is defined by kilos. So in other words, this is actually going to be a 12 uh, kilo or about 26 pounds. Um, one of the big, big mistake, biggest mistakes if I could talk that I see with people buying kettlebells is they buy one that's super light and that's going to influence their technique. They're going to be able to use the wrong muscles to swing it. So I would advise buying a kettlebell if you're a slightly built woman or a medium man, probably 12 for the woman, 12 kilos and 16 kilos for the man, which would equate to 26 and 35 pounds. Jeff will give you a little introduction also into the size of the kettlebells and some of the differences to look for. One thing to keep in mind is that if you want to get serious about kettlebell lifting, you're obviously going to increase in weight. And if you're going to do that, I recommend the steel, the competition size bells because they all stay and remain the same size. So when you go up in weight, you don't have to alter the technique, how it sits in the forearm, how it swings with its natural plane. So that's just one thing to keep in mind.